we're finding galaxies in the Dark Ages. We don't understand how galaxies are formed, but all of our understanding about matter and energy that tells us that there should be a Dark Ages, something had to change. Or some new kind of object, unlike any other objects we've ever seen, had no trouble forming in the Dark Ages. Since it started operating last year, the James Webb Space Telescope has seen a group of galaxies that belong to the mysterious Cosmic Dawn era, offering an incredible insight into the early history of our universe. However, the discovery of large and mature galaxies during the early stages of the cosmos defied expectations, since they were too big and far too young. Scientists were left searching for an answer while doubting the fundamental ideas of cosmology, the study of the universe's creation and evolution. And now, according to scientists, this new astounding discovery might provide the answer to the ongoing mystery. Join us as we dig deep into how James Webb just cracked the universe's code. Six huge galaxies that existed 500 million to 700 million years after the Big Bang were found by the James Webb in a recent research. The objects are much larger than was thought to be possible for galaxies so early after the Big Bang, and date to a time when the universe was only 3% of its present age. Scientists were only anticipating tiny, newly formed galaxies, so they were taken by surprise by what the Webb discovered. The size of these galaxies surpasses human imagination, casting doubt on our misconceptions about the early universe. But that's not all. Additionally, scientists discovered something astounding. These galaxies are as mature as our 13 billion year old Milky Way galaxy. The research indicates that the combined mass of stars in each of these objects is several billion times more than that of our Sun. Among them, one may have a mass up to 100 billion times that of our Sun. For comparison, the Milky Way is home to a stellar mass of about 60 billion suns. Utilizing advanced computer simulations, researchers were able to simulate the evolution of the first galaxies. These suggested that, in these galaxies, star formation proceeded in a different way during the initial few hundred million years following the Big Bang event that started the universe 13.8 billion years ago than it does in the vast galaxies that currently populate the universe, such as our Milky Way. They discovered that star creation in the early galaxies didn't happen gradually, but rather in occasional big bursts. This is important because in most cases, the brightness of a galaxy is used to estimate its mass, the total mass of its millions or billions of stars by scientists. These six galaxies were spotted by Webb's NIR cam sensor in a little known area of the sky. The device operates in the near infrared wavelength, which is invisible to the human eye. The Hubble Space Telescope had previously detected two of the galaxies, but those observations were made when the galaxies were very faint. According to experts, however, these six new galaxies are larger than expected. What might be happening? Mysterious dark matter, which forms a significant portion of the universe, is one possibility. Although there is still much to learn about dark matter, scientists think it is essential to the development of galaxies. A galaxy and its stars are formed as dark matter clumps together into a halo, drawing gas from the surrounding universe. However, this is expected to be a lengthy procedure because there aren't really that many dark matter clumps in the early universe. The web photos revealed unexpectedly large galaxies with excessively ancient stars. 
These unexpected discoveries challenge pre-existing theories about the nature and evolution of the cosmos in its early stages and are incompatible with past observations obtained by Webb's weaker predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Early blue newborn galaxies are typically found in early studies of the early cosmos conducted with Hubble and other telescopes. These objects are thought to have recently developed from the primordial cosmic soup and are in the process of forming their first stars and structures. In general, young stars have a bright blue color. As stars age, they cool down and burn off their fuel, giving out a redder light. The discovery of ancient red stars and galaxies that Webb was designed to detect was unexpected by scientists. Furthermore, they weren't expecting discovering galaxies with masses greater than a billion suns. However, the crimson spots that are visible in Webb's deep fields appears 50 times more large. It is estimated that the mass of the most massive galaxies that scientists discovered is two to four times smaller than that of the Milky Way. This was amazing at 3% of the universe's current age. We are discovering galaxy candidates that are as large as our own galaxy. Astronomers need to be sure the strange red dots they are seeing aren't anything else before they start revising their ideas of cosmology to explain how these galaxies got together so rapidly after the Big Bang. Most of the alternative explanations, however, also require entirely new concepts. This means that by giving us a peak of the universe's appearance some 13.5 billion years ago, the James Webb is able to literally take us back in time. This is where things start to become very interesting. The age of the universe is thought to be 13.7 billion years. Thus, everything has been completely upended by this finding. It's like rewriting the history books. Scientists are baffled by these massive galaxies, dubbed universe breakers. They describe 99% of the early galaxy models we have. Previously, we believe that galaxies began as tiny clouds of stars and dust that grew larger over time. These universe breakers, however, disproved our theories. When the web data and high-resolution photos from the telescope became in mid-June, researchers were blown away. One reason the James Webb Space Telescope observations are shaking up astronomy is that it is the first telescope to detect light coming to Earth from farther into space than any other. Observing galaxies as they form in the first billion years of the universe's existence Roughly 13.8 billion years is one of the mission's objectives. Although the first photographs made by the telescope last summer suggested a youthful universe full of remarkably developed galaxies, astronomers were able to extract little information from these pictures. The spectra of those galaxies, or the information that is obtained when the telescope divides incoming light into distinct colors, were what astronomers were eagerly waiting for in order to fully understand the early cosmos. James Webb began returning galactic spectra in earnest at the end of last year, and these are important for two reasons. First, they helped astronomers to determine how old the galaxy is. The infrared light that James Webb observes is reddish, or red-shifted, which means that as it travels through space, Space expansion stretches its wavelengths. Astronomers may calculate the distance to a galaxy, and consequently, the time when it first began to produce light by measuring the extent of that redshift. The redshift of nearby galaxies is almost zero. Objects beyond a redshift of five or around one billion years after the Big Bang are easily visible to James Webb. Higher redshift objects are significantly older and farther away. Secondly, spectra help astronomers understand the activity within a galaxy. Every color represents a different interaction between photons and particular atoms. A hydrogen atom flashing as it settles after a shock causes one color, jostled oxygen atoms cause another, and nitrogen atoms cause a third. 
A spectrum is a pattern of colors that reveals what a galaxy is made of and what those elements are doing, and James Webb is providing that crucial context for galaxies at unprecedented distances. The enormous black holes that lurk at the center of galaxies are another important atom-displacing force that can be found using galaxy spectra. In despite of their darkness, black holes emit distinct colors when they consume gas and dust because they tear apart atoms. Astrophysicists believed long before James Webb was launched that the telescope would enable researchers to identify those patterns and locate enough of the largest and most active black holes in the early cosmos to reveal their formation mechanism. The newly found galaxies may suggest that the early cosmos expanded significantly more quickly than previously believed, enabling stars to form much more efficiently. This may be connected to current findings that the universe is expanding more quickly than previously thought. Cosmologists often debate over this topic, which makes the most recent finding even more exciting, as it is one more sign that the model is breaking down. In addition to helping us unravel the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, Euclid may be able to shed light on this most recent mystery. We will need to revise our theories if even one of them proves to be true. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.